Now we come to the special feature of our show. God bless you. Somebody just sneezed. The appearance of our mystery celebrity. My friends on the panel uh, have, of course, blindfolds for this part of the program. Arlene's got a new one. It looks like somebody's lifted her eye. But the blindfolds are all in place, are they, panel? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you accustomed to appearing before audiences? Yes. Are you in some form of the entertainment business? Yes. Are you a performer? Yes. Are you something other than a plain dramatic actor? Or I don't mean plain, but a, a straight dramatic actor. Yes. Um, are you funny? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. You sound funny to me. Might you be described, uh, Mole, might you have ever been in motion pictures? Let me find that out. Have you ever been in motion pictures? Yes. Have you ever played a lead in a motion picture? Yes. Uh, do you work in television? Yes. Do you have a regular program? <laughs> <laughs> Would you ask that question again, Steve? I say, do you have a regular program? We can keep this just between us, you know. <laughs> no. That's two down the to go, Miss Francis. I'm really not sure from the roof whether it's a man or a woman. Uh, is this a... Is, are, you a are you a male? Yes. Well, why did you wait? <laughs> <laughs> Is there only one person there? Yes. I guess John went home. <laughs> <laughs> but now, you are, no not a, you are not a, a, a particularly a dramatic actor. You are not a comedian. Do you sing or dance? Yes. Uh, do you sing? Yes. <laughs> you must have hit some bad notes to get your voice into such terrible shape. <laughs> um, have you sung in theaters? Yes. Are uh, you a Bobby Soxer's delight? I'll answer that one. Yes, Miss Benson. Um... Actually, I didn't have to answer it. Have you? No, my goodness. Uh, are you on lots of jukeboxes? In them? <laughs> on them? <laughs> yes. Would I be going too far if I asked you to say one yes out loud yourself under your own steam? I mean, now that you've let off steam? <laughs> no? Yes. All right. What? It, you, you want to hear I just one? would like to hear... That isn't, that isn't the gentleman's regular voice, is it? No, it is not. No. That, but it, we'll give you one yes. See what happens. Give me one yes, sir. A girl tries so hard to get a yes from a fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Should be vice versa. But anyway, give me a yes. Yes. Uh... Are you fair? <laughs> and warmer? <laughs> I would think, generally speaking, you might say fair, yeah. Um, are you a young man that has made crying an indoor sport? Yes. 
Well, there's the yes that did it. Is it Johnny Ray? Yes! Johnny, you did a wonderful job. Hope you had a lot of fun. It's nice well, I was to a little see. worried because I know Mr. Allen so well that I was afraid if I spoke in my normal voice, it would be a dead giveaway because uh, I knew that he was, he was probably more familiar with my speaking voice than anyone else. And so we had oh, to see Johnny, him. now that now you Pull fooled me. us so marvelously, how about giving out with just a little something that we'd all recognize? <laughs> Well, I could do an impression for you. I uh, just finished a picture out in Hollywood, and I suppose the best thing I can do on a company is an impression that uh, Dan Daly did of me, and as, which he originated on the set of this picture I just finished. And it always struck me as rather funny. Of course, I've seen quite a few impressions of myself here and there. <laughs> but uh, on, the, on the set, he always used to have this running thing where he would do cry, and it always went like this. If your sweet heart sends a letter of goodbye. <laughs> I, must, I must also add that I always had a comeback for him. I used to look at him and I'd say, don't forget, Mr. Daly, in this picture you play my father and I don't have to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, this is uh, one Mr. Daly I would like you to listen to. <laughs> Spell the name differently and everything, so it'll be all right. It's awfully good to see you here in the East. What uh, brings you to New York? Well, Wait, before you do that, you were very nice. I think this is the first man I have ever known from Hollywood who talked about a picture he was in and never gave its name. Now, what is the name of that picture you just made? I can't remember. <laughs> Carl, there's no business like show business. Well, good. Now, tell us why, why, what brings you to New York. Well, 20th Century Fox is having a premiere here. Tuesday night at the Roxy for uh, Daryl F. Zanuck, The Rope, and, I, and it's for the March of Dimes, and we uh, came back, uh, we finished the picture, we came back expressly for that purpose, and we'll be there ourselves Tuesday night to sort of carry it off. Now, this is for um, uh, March of Dimes, isn't it? Yeah, what the did Egyptian? I say? The you said The Rope. Well, I got, ner I am so nervous with this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, then either you're going to be here to be a part of this uh, New York yeah, premiere. Yeah, the Egyptian March of Dimes premiere. That's right. Actually, the, the uh, premiere is very important because it's anticipated that um, out of this premiere, which John has come to lend his good offices and his fame to, they will make uh, some $40,000 for the March of Dimes. I've been watching my television set, and uh, I know very well that a lot of you have heard good many people remind you about the March of Dimes, which is in a emergency campaign now. So I'm not going to tell you much about what it does. You ought to know that. I think you do know it. And I also think you know how important it is to support the March of Dimes in this emergency. So uh, you, no matter where you live in these great United States, do your bit for the emergency March of Dimes campaign, because uh, we haven't licked this thing polio yet, and we better get to our lasts and do something about it, something extraordinary. Well, Johnny, we had a wonderful time. I think you, you had a good time. I hope so, because it was nice having you with us. I was us scared, and... but it was worth it. Good. <laughs> Would you say bye-bye to the panel? If you get all that.